Hey everyone, this is just a very uh, quick tutorial on how to preserve quality through projections and also just a quick tip on how to uh, get alphas uh, from Rotopaint brush strokes. Um, so this class uh, assumes you already know, it's just a quick tutorial. It already seems that you know how to do a basic uh, clean plate in Nuke and you understand a little bit of the 3D system. So if you guys are looking for more of that information, I have a full uh, class about that called Nuke 202. Um, 3D Compositing Masterclass, that's available in the description below. Uh, so just to get to the information quickly here, um, what we're doing is just getting rid of some of the leaves on this stair. Um, so I've already created the projection setup and this is like the final result. So very simple clean plate, tracked it in and just kind of replacing the bad areas. Um, but this is uh, just teaching you guys that there's uh, something you shouldn't be doing with projections. And if and what that is, is projecting the entire um, section of the image that you're uh, working with. Um, so if we're, for example, if we're only replacing these leaves, we don't want to uh, reproject the entire video onto the, you know, the staircase geometry that we created. So there's a cube here. Uh, we don't want to reproject and use this whole area. And so the reason for that is if we compare, if we look at the original footage and then we look uh, past the lens distort and the redistort, so we have our normal undistorting our footage, projecting it, uh, putting it through the scanline render and redistorting our footage. Um, if we just compare the two and we, and we really zoom in, uh, you'll actually see that there's a slight bit of uh, filtering happening here. You might not be able to tell well on the YouTube stream, but uh, you can see uh, there's a bit of softening happening here on the uh, through the transforms. So we don't want to reproject the whole area because um, we're damaging our image. So what we want to do instead is just take a roto paint. I'm going to paint out the areas that are not good. So I'm going to take these and just paint out uh, quickly the leaves. just to give us ourselves a clean plate. So I'm just going around sampling different areas. And okay, so that should work for the clean plate, just very simple. Um, but the key here is there's a little black arrow in the roto paint node that a lot of people don't know when you're kind of starting out. So if you click that black arrow and you say output mask, uh, set to RGBA alpha. So let me, before I click it, let me just uh, put the viewer and hit A. You see that we have no alpha in this uh, picture, that this clean plate that we're creating. Uh, but if we output an alpha mask, you'll see now that everywhere that we put a brush stroke, we get an alpha. Uh, so now if I pre-multiply that result and put a pre mult now we just have the spots that we're replacing. So when we reproject that onto that, that, that little card now, uh, we see that we're just getting those areas. And that's going to preserve a lot of your image quality, especially if you're doing a lot of projections over an entire scene. So if I hit play now, uh, you see, you know, we're actually preserving the areas around. Those are still the original video that we're, that we're keeping. Um, and the other thing we can do to preserve quality through projections um, so just every every time you have a, a transform or a scanline render, you guys are sampling your picture, meaning uh, you're losing a little bit of, of quality because you're uh, kind of moving the pixels uh, around a little bit and you're losing a little bit of quality. So if we just, uh, again, we just compare. I'm going to turn off, uh, yeah, let's just compare here. Um, you see we still have a little bit of blurriness kind of happening, uh, especially if you look on the white. It almost looks like it's being blurred by a pixel. If you want to preserve 100% of your image quality, uh, it's not exactly possible, but what we can do is we can switch our filtering to a different type. So if you click in the lens distortion node, you'll see there's a filter set to cubic. Instead, I'm going to send it to uh, uh, this uh, Lanxos 4. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced, but this one. And what that does is it just preserves a little bit more of the sharpness in your picture. Uh, also, if you click in the scanline render, we need to do the same thing. So change it from cubic to, to this one. Uh, same with the redistort. So we're setting them all to the same filter. And now this way, uh, again, it's still not 100%, but you know, there's a little bit maybe less filtering happening. It's a little bit of a sharper image by using that uh, filter method. And so that's how you can preserve a little bit of your uh, 
quality through a projection and also how you can easily create alphas based on your brush strokes uh, so you can just project the areas you need. If you like this video, uh, just please hit the like button and subscribe uh, and hit the little bell if you want to be notified every time I have a new video coming out. I'm going to be trying to do uh, short form ones like this, like a quick little video, and also uh, kind of mini projects like the last video I posted, uh, kind of 20 to 30 minute range. So it's going to be a variation of that kind of content. So subscribe if you want, and thanks for watching.